All right, hi, I'm Kevin for Reembody, and uh, we're going to look at some tricks for making the knees feel a little more comfortable, because a lot of people have been asking me about um, knee pain. The couple principles that we want to know first are, A, uh, what is your dominant side? And usually you get that down by knowing which side you use to kick a football. Uh, so most of us, of course, are going to have a right dominant leg, just if we have a right dominant hand, others will have left. I'll refer to everything between dominant side and non-dominant side, so you can figure out the left-right stuff for yourself. Um, the second principle that we want to really look at is that the knee is an intersection essentially between two sticks, right? For our purposes, we'll say it's going to be the tibia and the femur. And whenever the knee is bending or straightening, just like intersection of any other two sticks, you can move one of those sticks or the other, or both, and if you're experiencing knee pain, most likely what's happening is that one of those sticks is moving a lot and the other one isn't. So um, what we'll try first is those who are having pain in their dominant knee. So we'll take a stance where the right leg, or the dominant leg, sorry, is in front, non-dominant leg is in back. You want a bit of width here, maybe slightly wider than a normal standing posture. And then a couple of times, just practice shifting your weight forward and feeling your knee bend, your, your uh, dominant knee. And what you might notice is that as your knee is bending, your ankle is also bending a lot. And of course, that's supposed to happen. But my guess is that if you're a person with pain in your dominant knee, you are always bending in reference to your ankle and never bending in reference to your hip. So now we're going to change it up. I'll come forward a little bit so my ankle is slightly flexed. Now I'm going to keep my ankle totally still, and I'm going to bend my knee in reference to my hip. And that looks like this. So there's no way for me to bend my knee in reference to my hip without both twisting and moving the rest of my body. And that's by design. It means that all of the forces that happen in your foot or that uh, impact your foot when you walk or run or stand can be transferred into the rest of the body to be used as propulsion. So once again, this is a knee bend in reference to the ankle. This is a knee bend in reference to the hip. And all of this big global body movement is part of the goal. And you do this enough times, and you'll start to notice muscles turning on that you probably don't normally feel. Things like the hamstring on that dominant side, the glute on that dominant side, and maybe even the abdominals on the non-dominant side. But the point is, if you have pain here, this kind of bend should get rid of that pain, or you should be able to feel that pain during. After warming up with this kind of bend a few times like I've been demonstrating, then try to go walk up and down some stairs and see how it feels. My guess is it's going to be a lot stronger. The same is true for the non-dominant leg. As a matter of fact, more people, I think, have pain in their non-dominant knee than dominant knee. So if we're in the same stance, we'll keep that non-dominant leg backwards. The same principle applies that if I want to straighten this left leg, this non-dominant leg, I can either straighten one stick or the other. And if I just say to myself, straighten my leg, what I'm, I'm sure 99% of you do is that, right? That's straightening my leg, straightening my knee, but that's doing so from, in reference to my ankle. And there's a lot of backwards movement there, but backwards movement isn't terribly useful to me if I'm thinking about walking forward. So instead, starting from a bent knee, I'm now not going to move my tibia, and I'm instead going to straighten my knee in reference to my femur like that. So I'm still ending up with a straight leg, but I'm getting it from moving everything else except what we're used to using, used to moving. And just like with the other leg, this creates this global body movement, which you might notice looks a lot like running or walking. And again, it's by design. All the forces impacting my foot use the knee as a, like an adapter be able to turn movements, little shifts in weight in the foot, turning that force into forward propulsion. As you're doing this one, you'll feel the quad of that non-dominant leg working. You'll definitely feel the abdominals on the non-dominant side working. And just like before, that twist of the hips will generate a little work in that dominant glute. Like that. And you also might notice that the two motions are complementary. That bending my front dominant leg created a 
twist in a movement this way. Straightening my non-dominant back leg created the twist this way. And so this is one of the ways that your body makes your two legs work together. Whenever you're in a staggered stance, the bend of one and the straightening of the other yields a force that goes in the same direction, which is pretty cool. Okay, good luck.